Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you all how I label my car freshies. So if you are interested in seeing how I made these labels, keep watching. I was recently asked how I label my car freshies. So I thought it'd be a great time to show you guys a quick and simple, easy tutorial on how to make your own labels for your freshies. Okay guys, so you're only going to need four things for these super easy labels. You're going to need your computer to design them, a printer to print them off, these Avery labels, which I will link in my description for you guys. And then you'll also need your freshy packaging that you're putting your labels on. So now I'm going to show you guys how I design these. Okay guys, so we are ready to start designing our labels. So I always use Avery.com and i love their templates because they're just super simple to use if you don't have like procreate or something like that where you can design something on they make it really simple and they even have like tutorial videos on here like how to actually design and print your labels at home if you don't want to print your labels at home you can actually order them to make and ship them to you so it's completely up to you i just love doing these myself because it is a cheaper alternative than to getting labels made so i just buy these avery labels on amazon but you can get them online at walmart and like i said they have a ton of different templates that you can use you're going to look for the template number on your packaging or at the top of your label paper so mine says 8160 so i'm just going to type in 8160 and hit enter and then as you can see here so here are the actual labels that i bought here and here is where it says template. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the templates option and just click it. And then here's where they have a video about how to design and print on these labels. So that makes it really handy if this is a little difficult for you. But here's the option where you can click let us print for you after you design it, or you can design and print yourself if you have the labels at home. So I'm gonna hit start designing And I always choose just the blank design so I can start from scratch. But if you want to look at their pre-made options, they have a ton of cute things here. So I'm just going to do this and hit customize. And then it should bring up a blank label to work. So you'll have some pop-ups that'll kind of walk you through everything. I don't really need that because I made a ton of these. Um, so I always go to image and you can add anything you want. Like if you wanted to add a clip art, um, that matches the scent, you could do that. If you wanted to add your own image, you can upload something from your computer. So I always upload my logo. You can also click Avery gallery and this is all of their clip arts that you can use. Um, if you go to my account, these are the things that you've uploaded to your account. And you can even upload from your Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, or Google Photos. So they make it really easy. So I'm just going to go to computer, browse for file. And I just have mine saved on my desktop here. So I'm just going to choose this. And this is a PNG. It doesn't have to be a PNG, but I wanted it to have a blank background, not like a filled in shape behind my logo. So I just wanted the shape of my logo on these blank white labels. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blow this up and I think I should make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to crop this. And then just hit image and then it should load it now it's cropped it down so I can make it quite a bit bigger so now we're ready to put any text or anything that we want on this so you could put the scent on here which is what I do you could put all of your social media handles on here you could put a warning label you could put Thank you for supporting my small business. So this doesn't just have to be for your freshies. This could be for anything that you sell. Um, I've also used some different shape labels and I have put them like on my candles and stuff. 
So that's really handy. So we're going to go ahead and do our text box. So I'm going to put add text box and I'm just going to shrink this down and I need some more pink sugar labels for my freshies. So that's what I'm going to be printing out today. So I do this and then I select it. I always center it and I'll definitely be making it bigger. But first I'm going to change the font and then I'm going to change the size. Oops, that was way too big. Let's try this. Okay. So this one's much better. Okay. So now I'm going to add another text box. And because I sell a lot of these in a local booth at an antique mall, um, I like to put my website on my labels because I want those people to go check out my website. So yeah, this is how I design my labels for my freshies. So now we are ready to print them out. So you're going to go to preview and print and you can either click let us print for you and this is where they will print and ship them to you but you will pay for that or you can hit print yourself and I want it to print all like print this whole page not just print one to ten or whatever you can actually pick so if I only had one page left and I needed half pink sugar and half vanilla labels I could go and make half pink sugar and half vanilla and print pink sugar from one to 15 and then print vanilla to the rest. So I like that. So now I'm going to get PDF to print and I always save it and it will save it to my Avery account. So I can always log in and just print these out. Once I've designed them, I don't have to go and design them every time. Once they're saved, I can just print them. I just load my label paper into my printer and then just hit print and it's good to go. So I actually download all of mine to my computer. So you can put save to your account or download Avery project file. So I already have these saved to my Avery account. So I'm just going to hit download. And then as you can see here, it's downloaded. So here's what it looks like if you download it. Now you can print it off right off of the Avery website. But like I said, I like to just pop my label paper into my printer and just open up the file on my computer so I don't have to go and log in and mess with all that. Now I'm just going to print this. All right guys, so there are our labels. Super cute. And they look professional. Completely customizable. So then I just put it on my bags like that, and then I put my freshie in. So it'll be like that. But yeah, you could put like a warning label on the back, or all your social media handles, or a thank you sticker like on the packaging. You could do so much with these labels or one of their other templates that they have. So yeah, like I said, I will link everything in the description for you guys. So there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just drop a comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials or small business tips and tricks.